He said, oh, he did. Oh, he did. Take that. Oh, no, mm. you didn't. <clears throat> All right. Camera's good. You look well. I got my dice. You got your dice. I got my makeup on. Mm-hmm. Stop you, my dice. Your lip gloss is popping. Actually, I, I don't have any lip gloss on. <laughs> but if I did have it on, it'd be popping. Yeah. Good, right. because Notes all written. Can't have it popping in the mic. Do you have any tech? No, nah, we're, 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 nah. we're good. <laughs> like, didn't think that we're yeah, good. It was too much while. Wow, so. <laughs> all right. All right. <clears throat> cool. Boom. All right. Are you nervous? Mike's here. <laughs> I'd be nervous if Terpeter was here. What? Not on Mike so much. <laughs> Whatever. Quit hating on Mike. Oh, I'm just teasing. Yeah, I'm, teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. See, you see how it is, Mike. All right. This is not under weekend, but I'm putting it anyway, so I remember where to put it. We've been shrammed today. I'm gonna have. To, uh, that's that's gonna be our title today. The mm-hmm. shrammed couple. The shrammed. Since that was a pleasant surprise, I was not I expecting know. that. You so. see someone new in the chat room. Yep, he put out a new game today. Ben Addiction. I know. I saw. Yeah, I'm about to. See, I actually listen to his podcast, so I knew all about it. I don't listen. You have to admit, how many podcasts do I listen to? None, hardly. You listen to one, maybe. Because I'm so busy at work lately. You are busy. So. <clears throat> All right, see, I'm ready to go. All right, Let's cool. Let's do this. All right, she says she's ready, so you know what that means. And then begins. You ready? Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your shrammed couple. Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is November 12th, 2012. And this is episode 83. I didn't mention it was Monday, which I usually do. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Monday. It's Monday. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Valentine Cast. And um, I want to say a big thank you to Pretty Lights Music. You can find them at prettylightsmusic.com who allow us to use their music for our intro and outro. So check them out. And if you're in New York, and um, make sure all the power is still on there and everything, but... He's doing a great big concert up there, and um, you know, for for New Year's and That's everything. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, He's always. It would doing be something. awesome if we could go up there and do a concert. Well, you know, he was in Nashville a couple, probably like a m- less than a month ago, mm-hmm. and but his concert was on a Thursday night, so I didn't oh, even bother to no try way. to try to go down there. I'm not. I'm 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 old. I can't do that. Yeah, I'm not a college kid. I can't I can't just roll down three hours to Nashville. We did it once. Jonathan Colton, and I would never do it again. So, uh, the if, quick story on Jonathan Colton. So, um, probably, how long ago you said it was? About two, three, were we married then? No, we weren't married no, yet. No, it was like over I, three years ago. So, it was over three years ago, um, which our anniversary is next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. But it was over three years ago, and um, <laughs> we drove down <laughs> from Louisville, Kentucky to Atlanta, which is like a six to seven hour drive. We did that. Were we off that day? No, it was a Saturday. It was a Saturday. So yeah. we drove down there. The concert started at seven. Um. Yeah. So we um we the concert started at seven. So we left here about ten. We drove down to Atlanta. Got there in time to grab something neat. Grab an umbrella because it started raining. Mm-hmm. And then we went to the Jonathan Colton concert, which was my first Jonathan Colton concert. Your second. My second. Um, I saw, saw Paul and Storm and Jonathan Colton. And then after the concert, which ended roughly about um, mid, midnight. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, um, <laughs> we went to go eat some pizza. Yeah, and stupidly. And at like 1.30, we decided to leave Atlanta to drive back to Louisville. Why did we decide that? That was the dumbest <laughs> decision I think I've... Well, that's almost the dumbest decision I've ever made. Right. So, after we got to Chattanooga, 
we started having to alternate drivers like every <laughs> 15 to 30 minutes. It was so bad. Because we were so freaking tired. Like someone would, would take over and, the next, and, and then they would drop down tired and yep. sleep. And then it was. So we got back home <laughs> like 8 o'clock. It was. Oh, I, it was a horrible time. And so now we will never do, you know, trips like that again. Right. So the, li- the last 20 minutes of that trip, man, because I was driving the last 20, I barely, barely remembered it and everything. And we just died when we got home. So, yeah. yeah. That I, thing is when we finally figured out we weren't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I could do that at one point when I was younger. You know. Was, like in my teens, I could have did that. I mean, I, I freaking did that. I almost did it going to Virginia. I was. You said you almost did it. So what? How did that end? You said you almost did it. <laughs> I almost did it uh, because I fell asleep at the wheel and <laughs> so I almost, ran into a ditch. Um, but so, so almost well, did it. Well, yeah, I drove to Virginia because uh, my uh, grandmother had passed. Right. So right. I drove there and went to the funeral, and then I decided to turn around, and drive right back. Right. And I really wish I would have got a good night's sleep because yep. that was horrible. Yep. So, I want to take a quick minute and say hello to the chat room. What's Hi, chat going room. on? Um, we got Mr. Mike Schramm from the the totally um, totally Tippewa um, the incredible podcast of amazing awesomeness. Yeah, there you go. Which has the awesome logo that I re- absolutely love. It looks like underwear. It does. Even I, though I think it's unintentional, which makes it even better. Now, now I have to admit, you know. I'm not up to date as you were. Or That's okay. Are. Well, we're a team, so if right. I'm up to date, you're up to date. But you have to understand, Renee has this addi- addiction. <clears throat> to like, everything. To everything. <laughs> and it's, it's not just podcasts. It's not just television shows. It's everything. Man, if if I had ran with the wrong crowd in high school, I would be a druggie right now. Right. I'd, I'd be laid up in a crack house. Right. So she is like the podcasting queen up in here as far as a listener. I mean, I, I'm I'm waiting for her to say she's starting to listen to her podcast on 3X. I'm not going to listen to podcasts on 3X. Actually, guess what? I got so caught up that I was yes. listening to my podcast on regular speed. I know. That's why I was w- shocked that you were listening to regular speed when I got in the car I today. I know. I'm, but, but I'm getting behind again. Right. So. Crap. <laughs> but, yeah, so check those guys out over at um, Tippawa. You know? Yeah, so um, um, so this weekend, um, Renee and I, oh, before we even start, we want to say Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for serving. For serving yep. for us. Yep, yep. It's really appreciate it. Yeah. appreciate it. And I um, also want to um, say, you know, I hope you got your free food. And <laughs> I missed out on the opportunity to go with Mr. Crocker, who is a veteran as well, oh, yeah. to go wing inspection for him. So. Because. Here, okay, go ahead. Here's how my dad does Veterans Day, and he's this is the thing he does every year. He will start out like early in the morning. Yes. He'll go to Golden Corral, I think. Does he? No, no, no. He doesn't go to Golden Corral, go, but he starts like yeah. at 1030. He starts at 1030, and he goes to like four or five different restaurants. Yes. And he'll go in, get a salad. He'll eat a little bit of a salad, a bite or two of his food, and then he'll box everything else up to go. So he does this five times to get all this free food. So right now there are like five boxes of food sitting in my dad's refrigerator. Right. <laughs> and he canceled. So yesterday, you know, we usually do the crocker dinner on on Sundays. Mm-hmm. So he canceled. Well, he put um he rescheduled it for this past Friday instead of instead of um Sunday because one of the places he was going to go was Hooters. So I was going to go with Mr. Crocker so that I could do the wing quote. For those in the chat room, you see me doing air quotes. Mm-hmm. I was going to do the wing inspection with Mr. Crocker. <laughs> How come you didn't go? Because I was lazy. I didn't even leave the house no. all day yesterday. Okay. I blame why. Not even for wing inspections at Hooters? Yeah, you know, you know, I've only really been at Hooters one time. You need to take me. We you haven't been? Hooters. No, I've never been to Hooters. Oh, we can go. I mean, it's that's nothing... It's nothing spe- I heard the wings are good, but I can't really have the wings so much. So the wings are, aren't bad. I mean, they aren't like spectacular, that like everybody says. Well, the thing with the wings there is that you get the whole corner. You get the um, you get the flat part uh, and the um and the um handle. See, what do you call it? <laughs> the drumstick. <laughs> no, the oh, oh the other part, the part that what the weather is on. Flat. Oh the, oh oh. oh the yeah, tip. three parts to the wing. Yeah. The tip. <laughs> the wing tip. Right. That's the drumstick. See, I think 
people think the wings taste so spectacular there is because mm. no the, they don't i don't know I, the boobs. well well it's not the wings that taste good. It's the boobs. And That's what I'm saying. Because everyone's like, it's so good. But, yeah. they just, I but mean. the thing is, though, I mean, if you look at some of them, it's just a special bra. Well, you know, most people know they buy the special bra for them. Mm-hmm. And it's just weird actually seeing them sometimes. And they're in those pantyhose with the shorts. I, oh, that is the ugliest thing. Ugh. It's gross. You know. Pantyhose and shorts. Yeah. That's so very unsexy. So the only time I went um, was for the diaper party that my coworker had. The diaper party. You know, so, so apparently a diaper party is the guy part of the baby shower where they go get diapers and stuff. So happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. That was a nice little. Yep. And, <laughs> and so um, also this weekend, because it was so nice, it was like 72 degrees um, for here in Kentucky, which right now it's like 30 degrees outside. Cold. It was rainy. Um. We started um, Christmas. We went out shopping, so we had our gift cards from my house warming. So we, mm-hmm. you know, made a few stops, picked up some things for the house, and yeah. then we also stopped by Home Depot because I had to repair the toilet. The handle broke, mm. and um, while so we're nice. yeah, and while we're at Home Depot, we went in for an eight dollar toilet handle and came out with like almost two hundred dollars worth of Christmas decorations. Crazy! <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone down that aisle because I went in the aisle and I was like, oh, yep. Christmas. Because, like, now we have a yard to put stuff in. Right, and right. Bushes to decorate because yep. when uh, we were in our apartment, we just had a porch right. to decorate. Yeah, now yeah. we have all this stuff. So we bought some lights for the bushes. Yep. We had to go back and get more because we didn't get enough. Yep. We lit the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> we lit the bushes. We lit the bushes. And um, we got a light up dog yeah a little scarf yeah so you know how most people have those animated deer in their front yard yeah the animated deer so 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 we we got got a dog dog, but he's not animated and we got a led sign that says happy holidays happy holidays and i think that's all we got right right that's all we got oh we got a green light to put in our porch light to take the the other one out and and just to let you know we 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 tested the lights and everything like that, but we're actually not turning the lights on officially till after Thanksgiving. Yep. So, so we're there's not going to be, be nothing lit up till. But people are doing that around here. They're, yes. They have the Christmas lights up and lit. Yeah. There was a couple. There was a couple of places that I wish that we had a two-story house just because of how it was oh, kind of cool. cool how they had the icicles hanging from the bottom part, but I, I really enjoy our ranch house. So. I do. Um, and then also, I was I had to go get new jeans because, um, as you'll hear later, you hear our total weight loss. But I am, I am down almost three sizes in pants from the weight loss that we've been doing um, since July. Mm-hmm. So I had to go get some new jeans. Baggy pants, right? They, oh, they were so baggy. I'm so glad. Well, I'm still going to have to wear them because I only got one pair of jeans I because know. you it, know they they overcharge us uh, us big people. But guess what? As soon <laughs> as you drop down, you can buy like three pairs of jeans. I know, man. I was like one pair of jeans, is sixty bucks. And I go to Kohl's and I see jeans for like thirty bucks. I'm like, oh man, come on. So I can't wait till I can start shopping at Kohl's <laughs> and getting some jeans. Just uh. <laughs> Make sure your belt's tight. And yeah. You'll be okay. Yeah. So, um, we did that, and oh, and you have something that we found out I this do, past yeah. week. Yeah. Um. So I have started to need a belt because I am in between sizes on my jeans, and these were just falling down. So uh, I got a belt. Now I had worn the belt before, but it irritated uh, my stomach where it touched and made like a rash kind of. So I stopped wearing it. And then I put it on again, and it started happening again. And right. um, Jay and I realized that I'm allergic to nickel. Yeah, we went to, mm-hmm. um, what what website is that that everybody goes to to find out what the disease WebMD. you have? We went to WebMD. And, and said I found that out that I'm going to die. She's going to die. And <laughs> she has some other stuff. But we also found out she's allergic to nickel. Yeah, so I, so I remember I got a necklace one time, and it made like a ring around the back of my neck and it Mm. was rash and sometimes my ears wouldn't Mm -hmm. like um i got my ears pierced and they never really fully healed up all the way it finally did but it took them a long time right so that's probably what it is too so i'm a to nickel yep so for so what renee's doing now she's wearing a uh the women's version of a wife beater a so tank top. She, so she's wearing a husband beater now. <laughs> you mean tank top? Yeah, she's wearing a tank top, you know, up under the shirt so she can still wear a belt and stuff like that. But we did order a nickel-free belt Yay. that we hope will work. 
And if I'm allergic to this too, then it's not nickel. So. Yeah, so we may we'll have keep to keep updated on my allergy status. We may have to, um, <laughs> we may have to enlist your sister. Oh, maybe. Since um, she is an allergist. She is. And we can be, we can be those family members. Say, hey, Deidre, a doctor question, please, because they always call us for tech stuff. They do. So, so we so we have to call her. Yep. And for some reason, Jay didn't like the case that I had on my phone. So yeah. he made me. So he bought a new case for me. I didn't me. make you. You did. I didn't. Yes, you. No, because if I w- didn't choose a color, you were going to choose one for me. No, you said that. No, I, I said if you didn't choose a color, I was going to buy two of them. <laughs> and make you choose which anyway, one you want. So this is my new case. It's very, very pretty. My old one was blue. Right. Um, this one's not as bulky. Yeah, so um, we're feeling a little bit more comfortable with the new iPhone 5. Um, we, we have removed them from their safety net, a.k.a. their auto boxes, and they're now in which fashionable. I'm kind of sad because the auto boxes are expensive. <laughs> so, and now uh, they're, they're in their, what, how about those two? <laughs> no, not. Oh, not yeah, that's right. You did buy one of them. That's right. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, I bought two. I, I just wasted my money. Well, you can always sell it. You can always sell it back because it's really worth it. So, so yeah, so new case. Um, so now we're rocking the spec candy shell. So yeah, and um, sadly we don't have any tech this week, but we're gonna jump right on into a little bit of uh, media. Media. And we did not watch our Netflix movie. Hey, hey, we were playing WoW. And I don't, I don't want to hear any damnation from anybody. Right. That we didn't watch our movie, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, because plus that that takes reading. Right. So we really had to pay attention. Right. So sorry, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Maybe one day. And but man, the, and a lot of these, we even said this last week was that you know we're going vacation is coming up yep. soon, and we're gonna be. I got the. MacBook Pro ready for... We're going to watch a movie. We're going to watch some movies. I'm going to get... I'm actually going to monoprice.com to... What is monoprice.com? Monoprice.com is this awesome website that you can buy cheap cables with. Oh. So, like, instead of buying the $30 Apple cables, I can get the cheap ones from monoprice. They're, they're like the jack leg place of... <laughs> cable. It's good for the uh, frugal person. Right. Frugal and technique. and um, Mr. Shram, he's very... I actually read an article from um, from Mike this past week um, on the um, the um, the small port on the MacBook Pro, if mm-hmm. it did the audio or not. And the version of the MacBook Pro that I have is from 2009. So it was before I couldn't do the little video port straight to... Um, 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 the, str- um, the video port to mm-hmm. HDMI. I okay. have to do either do DVI or or VGA because of the MacBook that I have. But I'm not complaining because it is my work provided MacBook Pro, and I didn't have to pay for it. So. Speaking of cables, now that he's found Monoprice, thank you, Mike. Um, my husband is the king of cables. Yeah. You can see this closet behind me. This closet is filled with cables. And then there's another closet that's also filled with cables. Because, now what happened on show 81? We needed when, a cable. When we were getting ready to record, and you hit your mic. That's one time. No, there's been plenty of times. And there are the some snowball. cables that, that, that you haven't needed. True. There are some cables that I have not used yet. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yet. I like how you put yet in there. Like you're really going to use your... Two printer cables that we have. I'm sure we have a printer cable. No, we don't have printer cables. You didn't keep that? No, we have the USB cables, which can also be used for the printer. How many? We have tons of those. Well, we actually had to reuse one because when you had to use the snowball mic. I'm not saying don't keep extra cables. You're excessive with your extra cables. I am not excessive because who loses cables at hotels? What? Okay. I lost one cable. (laughs) One. Actually, no. I didn't even lose a cable. It was in a... It was an adapter. Uh, it was a cable. That's not. It's it, an adapter. it was a cable. Not, okay. Cable. Cables uh, no. have cables. What is the lightning? Okay, the lightning. What does it cable. call it? The lightning. F- the lightning. Rod. No. <laughs> for the new iPhone five, that is the lightning cable, right? Like this. For your iPhone. Yeah. Like it is this. called a lightning cable. Yeah, but I didn't leave the cable. You I left adap- the adapter. You didn't leave the adapter. You I were- did. I left the thing you plug into the wall to charge your iPhone. Okay. 
Right. Trust yeah. me, I know because it was yours. And, <laughs> and I left it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to roll for our new... Uh, well, people like that I have the cables. I love how we went from girl with the, with the dragon tattoo to cables. <laughs> Well, right. we started with mono price, and then we it did. went from me trying to figure out which MacBook I had, and trying to figure out, and I saw Mike's email. I mean, Mike's article he wrote back in 2010. So, 96, 96, 96. All right. And 96. for those that want to know about this article that Mike wrote, if you don't know, he's actually one of the contributors for um, the unofficial Apple weblog, which is Tua. So check that out if you're a huge um, MacBook fan, which if you are, you probably already know about it. So, 96. I'm on pins and needles. Oh, this is cool. 96 is fight night. While on the front run from his enemies, a con artist who sets up underground boxing matches meets a female <laughs> fighter who can take on most any man. It sounds like a knockoff fight club. Is this a knockoff fight club? I don't know. No, it's not. It Still. has um, Rebecca Newswander and Chad Ortiz. <laughs> I think you like this. No, no, I don't know who that is, but I doubt that's how you say her name. But you say Rebecca what? Newswinder? Yeah, um, N E U E N S W A N D R. Newswinder. 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 She's yeah, she's. All right, so I've never didn't. I think you added this. No, I don't know. You. It may. It may be, but. Some people, the reviews are pretty good. It's a right, fight night. It's a, this movie, action movie. It was a surprise and a half. Thinking I would fall asleep. However, not only did <laughs> I not fall asleep, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. Maybe there was naked people on the screen. Yeah, it'd be cool if it does have boobs. And plus. now that elections are over, I can go back to my regularly scheduled ads. Hooray! Yay! Which was odd. This morning we saw an advertisement for... A judge. Well, I think that they bought blocks of they ads and somebody screwed was. up, <laughs> and they <laughs> they, know they, they bought a little bit too much. So they said, "Go." I guess they just aired it. It's funny, right? Um, but so we watched the election. I think the best part of the election was Carl Rove. Yes. After after the winner was announced, well, no, no, it was the battle for Ohio was going on. Like right. they didn't know who was going to get it. Right. And, uh, even the Fox News people said that Obama was going to win Ohio, right? And which was crazy. Um, but Carl uh, Carl Rove was hanging on to the last thread. No, Romney can still win Ohio, and he was he was flustered and flapping around, and then and then he blamed it on his slow computer. Yeah. Well, he didn't really blame it on, but he but he did say that <laughs> My it, it wasn't updating. It wasn't updating. And whatever. then the uh, Fox News anchor the. The, the chain, woman, the lady, yep. she was like, now, is this just something you tell yourself to make you feel better? It, she said, is <laughs> this Republican math? <laughs> it was and so I was funny. like, and, and my favorite part about the whole election was not, you know, that stuff. It was the um, John Stewart show oh, the John day Stewart. after. That was hilarious. That was one of the I miss funniest. John Stewart. We, funniest just, we just don't have time to watch it, but I really yeah. love John Stewart. Yep. So and, um. Yeah, so elections are over, and I have to say that wow, damn you, wow, damn you, World of Warcraft for taking up all our time. Man, I just have to say, man, we we ran some. I had to say, one. I had to say thank you to Brewdog, Dale, and Galadian. Thank you, you guys. Know, thank them so much for running with us in the heroics after we hit ninety, because you know I had to get my. <laughs> Because I'm playing a monk, and I'm really relearning this class. I'm really learning this class, and and I, I want to heal. And I really had to thank them because they ran with us, and they were patient and everything. And all I have to say, Cowboy's back, bitches. You know, cause, cause <laughs> he has I, a bug again. He yeah, because I'm bug. like, I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. Yeah. Um, because at first I was getting worried. I mean, I was timid in the, in the heroics mm -hmm. because I just really felt I didn't know what I was doing. Right. But I've gotten to a point where I've hit my stride and I'm really feeling good. I'm, I'm finding out what my old crap buttons are. Oh crap! And I have one. You and know, I use it often. And <laughs> I, you know, and I'm keeping folk up. You know, and just for for you all that are playing WoW and you're with a monk healer, just do that healer a favor and look, a, be aware around you, and look for the balls, the green balls on the ground. Oh my gosh! I heard it so much. Just walk Nate, on the orbs. You might, you might want to fight a ball. 
Yeah. I'm going for the ball, Renee. My ball's on the ground, Renee. You need to go find one and walk through it. Ball's on the ground. But, and uh, Jay was a slave driver last Tuesday, so. Well, because I thought mm. we would be, would have been able to right. meet the LF. Um, there was no a. way. Now, do you see that we couldn't have done it? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, so. Uh, AIE has a LFR every Tuesday run right. by our good friend Martin. Right. Hey Martin. Hey Martin. No, you're not listening, but yeah. Martin. 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 good Martin. Martin. good Martin. <laughs> Who doesn't know? Um, today was a good day. Um, it was a good day oh. from Ice Cube. But my lyric. girl Kendra knew. She did. She was awesome. She held her people up that day. <laughs> she did. Um. So yeah. So there, there was no way. So so Jay was really wanting to do it in one day. I was like, we're not gonna do it. But right. we're almost there. Jay got Jay's there because he got good drops. Yay, yay, you. Uh huh. And I'm almost there. So if yeah. I don't get there, then Jay can go, but I can't. Uh no, I won't go. You should. That way, you can help me out. I'm not, I won't You'll go. have better gear. No. Anyway, so wow, love you. Uh, I have started archaeology again. I'm already 600 in archaeology and fishing. I just need first aid. I'll be done with all my professions. Oh, and cooking. But uh, so I am liking wow a lot. There's so much to do. So many dailies. I love all the dailies, even though some people hate them. But I love all the dailies. Right. So screw y'all. So I'm loving wow. Right. Sweet. I finished yep. a book. Yeah, what book was that? Uh, it is Sorcery by Terry Pratchett. Mm-hmm. Um, it's part of his Discworld series. And I moved on to the next one. It's called Eric. So I started reading that. Um, same old Terry Pratchett stuff. And I also bought the Sword and Laser book for this month. You you did. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's run that back. <laughs> <laughs> you did what? I bought a book. Off of Amazon. I paid money. Oh my goodness. It wasn't free. Did y'all did <clears throat> y'all hear that? I, I, I can't I can't phantom that. So What? What what'd you do? <laughs> I bought a book. <laughs> I spent <laughs> I spent money. Uh so yeah, because it wasn't we didn't have it and I wanted to read it because it's fantasy, so I did. Okay. Well cool. I'm I'm excited about that. And I'm still reading Alex Cross and the collective you know, collective stories of Drew Stewart and I'm taking my time, you know, and I think I'll finish those um, probably over Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna have to pick up another book or I think I said I was gonna read Life of Pi actually. Yeah. Some people couldn't couldn't get into it, so I'm curious to see what you think. Right. So um next on the list we have um a new game that hit the um app store. Um, from our good friend Mr. Mike Schramm, who um, wrote his first game from, um, um, which was called Antithesis. This is a pretty good game. I remember Antithesis. Antithesis. <laughs> well, I, I never. You, you can correct me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I thought you were okay with that. You, are, I am perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, but I like to say something every time because it makes me. It's because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but anyway. It's actually stuff wrong all the time. Right. So um, back to the game. So he released his second game. Um, just found out today that he released it. And, and I'm excited to get my hands on it. And he's already getting rave reviews from from his peers and also from those that, um, that are picking it up. And the name of the game is um, Benediction. And um, Mid Addiction is a matching game, a color matching game, I which matching games, which we know can be very addicting. Um, so I'm um, a little bit about the game. Um, in Mid Addiction, you play as as God or just a God, answering the prayers of supplicants. Blue supplicants are unhappy because they want faith, something to believe in in a cruel world. Purple supplicants are lonely; they need others like them to love. Green supplicants have prayers of wanting of material and physical needs and yellow supplicants seek actual miracles that elusive proof of the unreal so in benediction you assume the role of god who has the awfully demanding job of attending to the faith-based needs of worshipers and uh, um this is on appadvice.com um i did have a link in the show so i want to definitely have you guys check it out I know what I'm gonna be doing after the show. I'm downloading uh, it right now. See, I'm talking, I'm talking, and you downloading it already. So I'm well, like maybe, the, maybe, maybe if you had been downloading it while you were talking, you could have beat me. Well, I wanna, but I wanna, you I wanna, didn't. Oh, what? and the game is free, everyone. Just what? to let you know, it's, it's free? free. Yes, I knew that because he said it. 
Okay. On now the podcast. It's free. Wow. It's free. Now, antithesis, I thought it cost money. I can't remember. <laughs> what? I was about to correct you. No, do it. No, go antithesis. ahead. Antithesis. Antithesis. <laughs> See, I'm low. No, I'm saying antithesis because I can't say antithesis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not really trying to chop your. It's chop antithesis. Your name. This is his first one. Oh man, I, yeah, this is his first one. But I knew I, I thought I, now. Mike's in chat room. I have to ask now. That one was money, correct, Mike? I want to make sure. I could have told you. Yes. Yeah, because I paid for it. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I remember. He said this time it's free. Really? So there's no reason why you shouldn't get it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my damn. Okay, y'all need to get this game because antithesis. Did I say it right? No, antithesis. Antithesis. There you go. But that one's was, the first one, but that one's not free. That one's not free, but it's an amazing game also because I really liked it. And it was it was very different than any other game. It was like a game that I never played before. And I remember playing it, and I was like, oh, man. It's like you're playing. It's almost like it was almost like Pong. It reminded me of Pong. It had like a Pong feel, but it was more than just that. And it was just kind of cool. Yeah, I like the icon for benediction. It was like, meh. His little face was like, meh. Really? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to pick it up, man. I mean, I was going to pick it up anyway. I was, you know. You know, I like new games. I like new games, too. And and, and he's, uh, you know, his first game was great. And I have no doubt that this one is even better. I mean, because, I mean, who doesn't love color matching games? I know. Oh, my gosh. I know I'm, I do. I'm addicted to color matching. I, because you know why? Because see, Renee doesn't appreciate color matching games like I do. What do you mean? Because I, I take my color matching games to the toilet. That's gross. That is not gross. That gives, not, not, that gives no. you that gives you a moment of zen. No. When you the are, toilet is for one thing. No. It's no, actually, two things. Obviously, <laughs> number one and number two. But that's <laughs> all the bathroom should be for. Well, no it's not books, no magazines, see, no iPhone, no iPad, no laptop. See, it's books. Rucks. And cool color matching games, poop particles, and word everything. search games, and everything else. So on everything. So yeah. So yeah. Get over so that. let's no. <laughs> I hate bathrooms. <laughs> well, why do you use them? Um, I would trust me. If I didn't have to use the bathroom, I would not use the bathroom. That's just horrible. It's horrible. If I could re-engineer the human body to not have to use the bathroom, that would be awesome. All right. So with that, go pick up um, on Benediction. It's free. I mean, you'd be crazy not to. So with that, let's hop on into a bit of food. The fridge is not prepared. <sighs> All right, man. Hello, everyone. We, it's food. We have found a great love of oh. a new product. Not a new product, but a new vegetable oh my gosh so we got our csa box in from grasshoppers distribution this week and inside i'm gonna say all the stuff that was inside all right and we love one of these see see if see if you can guess right after i say everything acorn squash potatoes cauliflower turnips garlic tat soy and carrots there were two things that we actually loved from this yes but the thing we loved the most yep. was the acorn squash. Yes. This was so. All right. So I had had butternut squash, and it was good. But I think right. I needed to cook it longer. Right. Before, but I got the acorn squash, and I cut it in half and put it in the oven for like uh, forty-five minutes to an hour. Uh, before I put it in the oven, I had a I put I like spread butter around the inside of it a little bit, and mm -hmm. then put cinnamon and Splenda, yep. and a little bit of nutmeg, and that acorn squash. It was. was <laughs> amazing like i've never like it tasted like sweet potato pie without the crust right. and that was like oh yeah so yes. acorn squash was on point yep loved it and we also had some tat soy which i had never heard of and tat soy is like this um from my understanding it's like chinese spinach is, mm -hmm. is the way that the lady said it was and so we actually cut the tips off the the leaves off off the tat soy and um sauteed it like shrimp. Sa you sauteed <laughs> it with um olive oil mm -hmm. and i had you put some of the um the cajun seasoning in there yep and then i added salt because i right. don't know why yeah it's <laughs> too salty <laughs> oh but, it's, but it's it, japanese it well there you go it's yeah. a, a, oh no a it's chinese oh it's 
Chinese, Chinese and Japanese. And it's so okay. funny. It, the bundle of tatsoi was like this big, but it ended up making like half a cup of sp- right. <laughs> half a cup cooked. It was so funny. And then, so, yeah. And so we, we gave the turnips to Mrs. Ms., Ms. Crocker. Gross. And it was hilarious because I've always grown up um, in a farm where, in the garden where the turnips were red. Right. You know, they were red on the outside and they were white on the inside. So I give Mrs. Crocker the turnips, and she was like, those aren't turnips. Those are beets. And I'm like, no, they're turnips. She's like, turnips aren't red. They're white. See, and turnips are red, but there are some turnips that are just, they're, they're mostly white, but they're pinkish around the stalk. So that's probably what she's thinking of. So Yeah, I guess so. I mean, because I was, yeah, I'm looking at. I guess I'm looking at Wikipedia, and I can see yeah. where the very bottom of them are yeah, white, and the top of them they're mostly white skin. But the ones we got were all red, right? So, and I really have to say, I am really enjoying um, the CSA, you know, box. So, if if I um, implore you <laughs> to check locally, I mean, if you're into eating vegetables and trying to eat a little healthy, and you want to help out your local place, and you don't have time to always go out to a farmer's market or anything like that. See if there's a CSA um, near you. I mean, so that's a community-supported agriculture. And what they do is people buy into shares of, 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 um, of for a farmer. Mm-hmm. So, like, we pay, you know, roughly, you know, 20, 20, 20 to 30 bucks a week for a box of vegetables and... Um, a, uh, a quart of soup. A soup in the soup this time was, was turkey noodle. Turkey noodle. That was crazy. It was so good. <laughs> All that turkey noodle was good. Right. Ooh. So definitely check locally if if you have something. And I have to say, I mean, some of the stuff is. I mean, you could tell a difference. Yeah, it tastes so fresh. It tastes better than the produce I got get in Kroger. Right. And I have a little bit of. Uh, knowledge about the turnip. All right, what's the, what's that knowledge? Uh, like off like the rutabaga, the turnip contains bitter cyanoglucosides mm-hmm. that release small amounts of cyanide. Sens- sensitivity to the bitterness of those cyanoglucosides is controlled by a pair gene. Subjects who have inherited two copies of the sensitive gene may find turnips twice as bitter as those who have two insensitive genes. And thus may find turnips and other cyanoglucoside containing foods intolerably bitter. I think I, it's me. I think you just want to say um, it was bitter. You, you, you they were, were bitter. I didn't that, know. that may be it. I mean, you usually have everything else. So <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm but a sickly person. Let me tell you're you. a sickly person. <laughs> but I really, I really enjoyed the well, um, turnips. Well, yeah. every time we have turnip greens, you're welcome to them. And what's funny is that um, sometimes. When we get these vegetables in, um, because when I was a kid, I mean, we would just, you know, pull them out of the garden, spit in our hand, and we'll wipe the dirt. Yo, you wouldn't even wash them? Uh, Well, I mean, washed it with our spit. It's not washing. It's just spitting on them. But it's the dirt from (laughs) our house that we know was there. Did you put any mulch in it? No, the we didn't, cause the no, we didn't put mulch in the ground. And it's okay. We we've said this before. We we eat the dirt. Eat dirt anyway. I'd rather not eat as much dirt as possible. Well, anyway. Salmonella, Jay. <laughs> Salmonella. Renee, we're not getting these. Ter- these turnips aren't <laughs> growing in Mexico. Okay. It doesn't need to grow in Mexico. And I don't mean to offend anyone in Mexico yes, by saying <laughs> So, I'm sorry. What were you saying? But I was saying, um, like, when we got the turnip, you were chopping it up, and I just took a cube, and I just threw it in my mouth. And I was like, ew. She was like, it's not cooked. I was like, I know. <laughs> I was like, it's, per- it's perfectly fine. Like, I can see you chopping it up. I know it's not good. You know, you're like, ew. You know, no. Nah, it's, it's fine. It's gross. totally fine. So, week 19 week update 19. for the Valentine's. Team, team Valentine. Yep. Weight loss update for week 19. This past week, I lost 3.2 pounds <sighs> for a total of 54 Point eight pounds, and not this only going wild, by the way. not only did I order new um, jeans um, this past week. I um, mean, we got new jeans past week. I actually had because, because Renee 
um, I made him. suggested. Mm-mm, I made him. <laughs> Renee made me order a new wedding band. Why? Why did I make you order a new wedding band? Because, Be- because what happened? I was what happened? Make, what I was happened? making what the happened? bed up. <laughs> if you let me finish, woman, <laughs> girl, you need to go in the sandwich. You need to go, go in all the, the sandwiches kitchens. and make all the kitchens. Go in all, go in all the go in all the kitchens and make me all the sandwiches okay, okay. all right so what happened <laughs> with your ring um i was making the bed up which i haven't i'm not even gonna go into that while i was making the bed up because i'm a little lcd at night a little so i made the bed up and i went to go fling you know flap the sheets to straighten them out and when i did that my ring flew off my finger Across the room. Let me search for it for how long? About 10 minutes. Probably about 10 minutes. Because we couldn't find it. We couldn't find my <laughs> ring. And I get paranoid about it. And this is the second time officially that it's flung off something like that. I've told you. I told you to, to get a new ring about a month ago. No, you told me. Yeah. yeah it was probably longer than that the first time. But and so now fi- finally when Jay's ring just happened to fall, like, fall off. Right. Uh, he finally got a new one. So I went from a size 14 ring. I'm now in the size 12 ring, so hopefully I hope I'm done because I was in the size 12 when I was in high school. Well, you could get skinnier. No, no. Speaking of skinny, Jay says being uh, skinny is for the birds. Well, because it's cold. I get cold easier. So. And I'm like, that's how normal people feel. Oh, you telling me I wasn't normal? Mm. <laughs> All right, and how did you do this past week, Renee? I made a comeback and lost three pounds this mm-hmm. week. Which was awesome for a total of fifty two point eight pounds. Nice, that's awesome. We did great. Yep. So um, that's a total of six point two pounds for both of us, and then our grand total for Team Valentine after nineteen weeks, one hundred and seven point six pounds. Yay! We have officially lost one of your one of your your little, little sisters. your little twin sisters. One of one of my little sisters. I have lost you. So we have lost you, Kim or Danielle. And eventually we're going to get to the point where we would have lost both, both of, of you. So <laughs> we're excited about that. So. Yeah. And the Frog Pants group on Lose It, which you can join us. And uh, Jay, what is that uh, um, so address? The, so if the address, so if you want to join Pants us group? in our Frog Pants fan um, Lose It group, that's going to be tinyurl.com slash Frog Pants Lose It. And then if you want to join to challenge, which Renee is going to give you an update on so that we can get a, a group weight total loss, you want to go to tinyurl.com slash N13 weight loss. So, Renee, hit us with the frog pants totals for this week. The frog pants totals, we have 133 people. In the challenge, right. and we have lost 1,103.2 pounds. Wow. That is an average of 8.29 pounds per person. That is amazing. That's, a, that's three pounds per person up from last week. Yep. And uh, everybody's doing great. Every, everybody's encouraging everybody. Yep. Um, some people get, get a little frustrated, and other people talk them through it. Yeah. And it's great if that's what helps motivate you. Right. So uh, come... Come and join us over there. Right. See, see, Mike. Mike even said he got cold when he lost weight. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, he has, and I even told him this in the chat room. He lives in California. But he used to live in Chicago. But babe. now he lives in California. But he lived in Chicago. But now he lives in California. It gets cold in California. It doesn't get cold in California. Because, why? Because Tony, Tony, Tony said it never rains in Southern California. <laughs> no, it never gets cold in California. That's not true. In in Southern California, Northern California, it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we have some. Oh, what? Odds and ends. I was trying to well, do a lead in. Well, you know you had to give me more of a lead because Mr. Feisty put such a big gap in the beginning of that song, which we're very thankful for, Mr. Feisty. Uh, but um, we're actually... Um. Yeah, you had to give me a bigger lead, Renee, on that. So we have three birthdays this week. On Thursday, we have Caroline. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, <laughs> Caroline! On Thursday, 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 <laughs> and um, on Friday, Miss OMF, Old Lady Franks, Miss Karen Matthews, 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Karen. You're awesome. I think she's going to be like 21. You're amazing. <laughs> And like, uh, yeah, twenty one. Yeah. Is yeah. she no? No. She's gonna be like twenty five, twenty six. Like right. And then on Saturday we have Clay Pigeon. You know, so happy birthday to you. Happy Queen. birthday, Clay Pigeon. Yep. So um, you wanna? Well, then we bumped um, Tippewa before in the very beginning of our show. For the podcast of the week, yeah. For the podcast I think, of the I think week. there were like first or second. So let's get a, of the week. Let's get a little podcast of the week. So, so yeah, she, she, okay. I know. So, why don't you go ahead and tell them a little bit about Tippewa, where they can find them, and Tippewa is a podcast uh, that the hosts are Mike Schram and Terpster, and it's a very loose kind of show where they just talk about games they're playing, movies they watched, things that they're doing, uh, and now they have video oh. for. I know you probably didn't know that. I did not know that. <clears throat> and uh, it's a good time. They, uh, <laughs> I love how they go back and forth with each other. And yeah, they and, they, and they talk about cider. Now, now Mike and Terpster have a long history. From, long history. From, um, I used to listen to them. Oh yeah, when they were at on the Wow and Cider. Yep, I did. You know, and I remember, I, I remember that whole. De- it's not debacle when when Mike left and. All the turf left and everything else, and I quit. And I stopped life. listening. To wild yeah, because cider. I mean, because it was like that's like why I was listening. Yeah, because yeah. they were so amazing. And then when they came up with the incredible podcast, from amazing awesomeness, which can be found at incrediblepodcast.com. dot com. I was about to say this. Bam! Yes. What? Incrediblepodcast.com dot <laughs> com is where you'll find all the information you need, and you can see the wonderful underwear logo right there, which is amazing. I I, I just love that logo. So. Um, so get so check, check them, out. them out and um you definitely will enjoy enjoy those fellows and stuff like that. So um they're like they're like an old married couple. <laughs> they are. I love it. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So um I'm going through my emails real quick to see if we happen to have an email. I love how we do this as we're supposed to I be know. reading the emails. I know. We could do it beforehand, but what's the fun in that? And I want to say hi to Alicia. She's, hi, she, Alicia. She tweeted us last week when I she know. was sick. And I and miss you. Yeah, we, we helped her through her sickness. So um, how can people get a hold of us, babe? If you want to possibly email us, that would be awesome. You can email us at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. And if you want to see our blog, including the show notes on this episode, you can reach us. You can see that at ValentineCast.com. And if you want to tweet us, you can tweet us at ValentineCast. You can also call us. Our phone number is 415-758-2278. That's 415-75-VCAST. Video for the show can be seen at YouTube.com slash ValentineCast. My Twitter feed is the Cowboy T H E C A O B O I, and if you like to tweet Renee, it is the Ice Flow, just like it sounds. But you all have a great week, and we will see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Nom 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 noms. What? Nom 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 noms. <laughs> I do like that one. That one's really good. Nom nom. Um, um nom 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 noms. That was a good show. Yeah. Boom. Thanks for hanging out with us, Mike. Thanks, Mike. It, it was, was awesome. It was great to have you here. Yeah. I'm going to download this game, man. I, I, I tried to, but it says it cannot connect to the Apple App Store. Oh, it's getting hit so hard because everybody's downloading so it. So, I got on Wi-Fi and I'm going to try that because I wasn't on Wi-Fi when I tried it. Okay, so, so uh, Mike, I have, to, I have to ask, man. Um, It'd so, be funny if he wasn't here anymore. Yeah, it would be funny. The air. So, <laughs> why free? I mean, I mean, I appreciate it, but... Um, You're just wondering. Yeah, because, I mean, because it's not like it's... Not I, I wouldn't expect it to be not not a good game because um antithesis. Did I say it right that time? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna you know what 
what did what was the other word I had to work on? <laughs> I don't know. This is cracking me up because I, I had to work on that word okay. so many times. If you look at it, it's an, an, anti. An, like think yeah, like anti. Yeah. It's like antithesis. The sis is what you, I'm looking at. You, you miss anti an, antithesis. 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 There you go. Mm. Antithesis. Enter the cyst. Antithesis. I'm still trying to remember what that word was that I had an issue with. See, Mike, it says cannot connect to iTunes Store. That sounds like a. Is that an iTunes no. issue? Yes, yeah, iTunes. What what Wi-Fi are you on, babe? Because because uh-huh. it did it for me. It installed for you. It did. Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, but I was on 4G and it didn't didn't do it either. I'm on Valentine. Mine did it, babe. Oh, Mike, you don't like me. I think that's what it is. Yeah, cause you he banned me from getting the he, game. He heard what you said at the beginning of the show. You mm. was like, mm. 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 he man. What is this Valentine one? What is Valentine one? That's the end. You can get on that one. That that one's your cell number. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I am going to do the post. All right. Up and out. Well, cool. Thanks for hanging out with Thanks. us. We'll check you all out later. And um, have a nice week. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Boop. Wait a minute. I always say bye, and I never had the stop button up. Hey, Strop It. Hi, Strop It. Bye. Oh. Wait a minute. I didn't stop yet. Shit. Oh, shoot. Yeah. You already said it. You can't not say it. It's like toothpaste in the tomb. All right, bye.